All right, people, welcome back to some more Fake Card Friday. So you're looking at the title, and sometimes it's just really easy to stick with the theming. So today we're going to be looking at two fake cards. In this week's card review, we looked at the new Fire King card and the new Mermel card. So it's like, hey, for Fake Card Friday, let's just go ahead and look at two fake cards from both archetypes. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So starting off, we're looking at the Fire King card. So this is Fire King Avatar Nemphis. So I guess they decided to go ahead and make a Fire King version of Nemphis because Nemphis is kind of part of the whole archetype and theming of the day. But of course, it's not a Fire King card. So this person decided to go ahead and make a little mini version of Nemphis because I believe there's a little mini version of Grunick. So why not? So if this card was real, is it good enough to go ahead and throw it into the deck? Let's go ahead and see. So it is a Fire Level 1 Wing Beast Effect Monster with 300 attack and 200 defense. So the stats aren't that great, but it is only at level one. Uh, it can be summoned with rekindling, so that's a thing. So let's go ahead and look at the effect and see if it's actually worth playing if this is a real card. So if this card attack, this card can attack your opponent directly. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you contribute it. Excavate cards from the top of your deck until you excavate a Fire King or Nemphis monster. You're supposed to summon that monster. Also send the remaining cards to the graveyard. You can only activate the effect of Fire King Avatar Nemesis once per turn. Okay, so that's really a simple effect to get, you know. Uh, this card can go ahead and pop your opponent directly. So you go ahead and pop your opponent directly, tribute this card off, excavate until you get the Fire King or Nemesis, then summon that monster, you are still in the battle phase, you can go ahead and attack again, and uh, all the remaining cards that you excavated just get sent to the graveyard. Uh, it's interesting that you can only activate the effect of uh, Fire King Avatar Nemesis once per turn. So if you attack and excavate into another Nemesis, you know, that card, yes, you can go ahead and pop your opponent directly, but you can't activate the effect again because you can only activate the effect hard once per turn. Um, uh, just the fact that you can go ahead and just, you know, get to the next card, the next Fire King or Nemesis like your Phoenix. Uh, is actually pretty decent and like I said, you can still go ahead and attack with that monster. Uh, if I made this card or if I would add a tweaking to this card, uh, might as well just go ahead and throw it in the hole, you know, uh, summon the monster, it's effects are negated, and it's destroyed during the end phase. You know, a lot of the Fire King cards have that and that would definitely fit the theming of uh, this card, definitely. Just go ahead and be like, alright, attack, tribute off. Go ahead and excavate. Oh, you know, here's a Grunix. Hit you. Oh, Grunix is dead. Come back. Or, oh, here's a Sacred Phoenix. You know, oh, Sacred Phoenix is dead. Or, Barong, you know. So, definitely just go ahead and slap that on. But besides that, the card is actually pretty decent. Pretty decent. Um, it's a Wing Beast, so you can't search it with Tenki. Um, but if this was card was real, would you throw it in? I mean, it does help with the consistency in its own weird, odd way. So, like I said, just go ahead and slap on that, you know, monster effects in the game destroyed during the end phase, and yeah, I can go ahead and give you a thumbs up for that one. Alright, so we go ahead and review the Fire King card, so let's go ahead and look at the fake Mermel card that we'll be looking at in this video. So, now we are looking at Mermel Abyss Diva. Oh wow, so, so creative with the name, because of course, you know, they play Deep Sea Diva and then just go ahead and make your own Diva in the Mermel archetype. All right, sure. Uh, so she is a water at level four aqua effect monster with 1500 attack and 1000 defense. So, I mean, besides the fact that she's level four, which is not terrible, you know, um, there's not too many uh, level four water uh, Mermel monsters that I play. Like I said, they, they play like, uh, like Turge and uh, that other guy i don't remember his name but i know there's there's two level fours as they do run at times so as long as you're in there of course you can go and make your bahamut shark to your totally awesome place so uh you know having level four waters is not terrible especially with you know mr norton bam so let's go ahead and look at their, her effect and see if she was real would they play her so when this card is normal or special summon okay you can Discard one modern monster to the graveyard. Awesome. So you can go ahead and just discard an AK monster or discard a gun. Then target one Mermel monster in your graveyard, except for Mermel Abyss Diva. Okay. Uh, and special summon defense position, but monsters you control cannot attack for the rest of the turn except Mermel monster, and you can only use this effect of Mermel Abyss Diva once per turn. 
uh, I mean, that, that's a hard restriction. It really is, you know. Uh, the effect is pretty nice, you know, when she used just go ahead and she summoned, just go ahead, discard her water, target her mermail, summon it. But it's just like, oh, yeah, you're summoning the, the Murrow monster that you're from the graveyard. Oh, it's in defense position. So, you know, remember with that deck that likes to go ahead and push for damage and go for OTKs? Nah, nah, you're in defense position. And just in case you thought you are going to be cute, only Murrow monsters can attack. Which sometimes isn't an issue, but, I mean, at times it could definitely be an issue. So, just the fact that that monster won't be attacking because it's defense vision, and then only Murrow monsters can attack during turn to do this. Uh, it's kind of restricting, definitely is, you know, uh, especially since it's a fake card and you can do whatever you want. I definitely thought you'd be like summoning that water monster, that murmur monster, and attack position, you know, summoning back that Megalo, and you know, at least that's a thing. So you can go ahead and just summon a murmur monster from the graveyard, which is, of course, fodder for a Megalo to go ahead and just tribute off to attack twice. And it's like, oh, well, only murmur monsters can attack. It's like, that's fine because I'm probably just going to go in with some murmur monsters, you know. Because, you know, this will be summoning something from the graveyard. And then if you pitch, like, a gun, the gun can summon monster from the graveyard. And that can be an attack position. So, you know, you can easily do a, a sweet little combo with this plus um, gun to easily summon back, you know, two of my monsters from the graveyard. Uh, Megalo and something for Megalo to tribute off and to attack twice. So, um, the card is good. It's just a little bit, a little bit more restricting than I would predict for someone to make a fake card. Uh for the archetype, you know, but overall, not bad, not bad, so, uh, yeah, yeah, overall, these, both these cards are a fine card, I would definitely say in comparison to, of course, the new Mer Merle cards that we just got for both archetypes, I'd probably say that those cards are better, uh, they seem like they fit the theming better, they seem like they've, uh, got a little bit more love and care and check and balancing, but, I mean, you are comparing someone who, you know, made a fake card off the top of their mind in comparison to, you know, Car Konami, who I hope does, you know, R and D testing and you know, uh, checking to see. And I mean, it is their game. So yeah. So uh, besides that, uh, great job. So tell me what you guys think about these two fake cards in uh, the comment section below. So I hope you guys enjoy the fake card Friday. So once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys tomorrow with some more Yu-Gi-Oh related content and keep the channel going strong. So please continue to watch and support me. All right, people. Thanks for watching.